Hello crafters, I'm looking a little wild today and that's because I spent the whole morning crafting some really fun and easy Valentine's Day Cricut projects we're making this year in 2022. In my previous video where I shared a bunch of Valentine's Day Cricut projects you can make, I got a lot of comments asking me to make some of these projects and show how I make them. I tried to do a variety of different materials and fabrics and different types of vinyls. This way, hopefully at least one of these things sparks some interest and creativity in yourself. So let's hop on over to idea number one and that's going to be starting off with a really easy wood sign. We're doing a little hack to make it look like we stained it so let's jump over to that. To start off with I am going in with some brown acrylic paint and I've added water to do kind of like a stained look. Fortunately I don't have the paintbrush that I wanted so I'm using my daughter's paintbrush. <laughs> We're just going to put it on like this. And then use some paper towel to kind of smudge it across. I'm going to continue painting and smudging to really give it that stained effect. I love this because it dries a lot faster. You don't get that smell of staining and it's just overall a lot quicker to be able to start on your project and get crafting. So this is just like a quick little adding some paint and then you just rub it off like I was showing you really easy. I do wish I had a sponge brush. That would be a lot easier. You can pick those up at the dollar store, Michael's, any craft store. But I thought I had one. Can't find it. Anyways, so as you can see already, it's drying, but it has that stained look. So I'm going to do the sides. So the most important part is to wipe it to give it that stained look. And then as you can see, it does drip. So just make sure that you're wiping it. Honestly, I probably should have done the edges first to avoid that dripping, but that's okay. We will just keep wiping it anytime we catch any drips. I do have my youngest beside me here eating a snack so that I can film this. So if you hear noises, that's why. So I'm really liking how this is turning out. I think I may add a little bit more just to kind of use up what I have, darken it up a bit. So I'm just going to kind of add it all across. The nice thing is you can be messy with this, like, and just kind of play around. I'm gonna buff out any drip lines. I'm going to let this dry a little bit, but as you can see, even just adding this with the water, you can really see the tones of the wood in there, which I like. This does look like it's a nice stained piece, which I can really appreciate because this cost me a dollar. Once our wood plank is dry, I'm taking some quick measurements and then I'm going to hop on over to Cricut Design Space to start designing the image that I want to cut out. So I am putting kind of like a template at the background here. I'm not actually going to be cutting out the brown there, the brown square, but it's just there for reference so I can kind of see what I want the placement to look like. I also decided that I wanted to get a lips SVG added onto there. I googled it and really easy to find that online. I wanted something that works for Valentine's Day decor but also works year-round so I feel like this is super cute and now I'm just playing around with some fonts to see what I find works best. Once I found the fonts that I wanted I made sure to change the colors that way my machine and my Cricut Design Space can sync up and know that I am wanting to cut this on three different goes. That way I can do all the colors I would like. I went ahead and cut everything that I needed. I really like using my scraps if I can so you can see me here cutting around all these little bits and it's really just me trying to utilize the scraps that I have and not waste final. I just really don't like wasting things especially when it's expensive. Vinyl can add up quickly when you craft a lot so I definitely like using up those scraps. Now that I have the transfer tape on I'm just going to lift this up and move this over to the wood plank. I forgot to mention but I did some quick weeding off camera because I didn't want you to have to sit through that. But now I'm just placing it before removing the transfer just making sure it's all where it needs to be. The part with the wallet, there's supposed to be a period after that and it didn't come up when I lifted the transfer tape so I am going to go in here and just add that on, cut off a little bit of transfer tape and then just add it on really easily. So it's not a big deal if you think you mess it 
up. You can either recut some more vinyl. I've definitely done that on the letters I many times in the past. You lose the little top part of it. So don't worry if you mess up, you can definitely go back in. And this is the finished product. My husband had a good idea to add some little command strips or hooks to hang your keys on there. So definitely a really cute and inexpensive little gift or decor for your home. The next project we're working on are some Valentine's theme candles. I wasn't sure if I wanted to go with the Netflix and chill theme or just some cute heart shapes. So I did design both, but I did decide ultimately to go with some heart shapes in three different colors using some scraps from a previous project that I've done. And now it's time to weed out the parts that you do not want. And this clip is featuring my baby in the background who is running all over the place. Now it's time to do the transfer. I did need something to put the candle on. That way it wouldn't roll around all over the place. So I grabbed a dish towel, rolled it up on either side, and there we go. Now we're ready to transfer the vinyl. I did just cut it into little bits. You could absolutely just cut a full wrap with the hearts so they're in place easily wrap it around and be one transfer that way. But like I said, I really like to save as much vinyl as possible, use up my scraps. So I did make a bunch of very tiny little ones that you can see here cut up. Saves me a lot of vinyl. Takes a little bit more time, but I thoroughly enjoy it and get a lot more vinyl out of it when I do projects this way. I forgot to mention I picked up this candle at my local dollar shop for $1.75. I made sure to peel off the labels and then I washed it with some Blue Dawn dish soap and hot water just to make sure that all of that sticky residue was off there. There we have the finished product. For my last project today, I wanted to do something with some heat transfer vinyl and I wanted to make my daughter a shirt. So she's really into unicorns. I tried to play around a little bit with the Valentine's theme and unicorns and I also wanted to try out this holographic vinyl that I bought a while ago and I just really wanted to try out and I thought it would be perfect for the unicorn horn. So I'm doing my best to kind of play with this image that I downloaded off of Google for personal use. I'm doing different slices in here to just try to get the horns separated. This way when I go to cut the holographic vinyl, I don't have to use so much of the sheet. I only have one really small sheet and it was kind of expensive. So I want to make sure I am leaving as much space and just cutting what I need. If you do choose to use a heat press like me, there is a guide online with the Cricut website that you're able to put in your material. For example, I'm using 100% cotton and then you're able to put in what kind of vinyl you're using and then it just makes it a lot easier because it breaks it down for you. I definitely had to go back in and convert it to Celsius instead of Fahrenheit because I cannot do that math in my head. When I am working with heat transfer vinyl and fabrics, I make sure to do a good lint roll and then I do just add a little bit of heat to the material first. Then I make sure to line it up. I like to do the three finger lengths under the collar and then I measure on both sides just to make sure it is in the middle. I do make sure to add some parchment, wax, baking paper, or you could use butcher paper just to make sure I'm not burning and melting the plastic transfer tape that has happened in the past to me and it sticks to your Cricut Easy Press. Not fun. Also, the mat I'm using under my material here, the gray one, it's actually just an ironing mat that I bought at Walmart. I didn't want to spend the money on the Cricut mat, so I went, bought an iron mat. Same thing, it's even bigger, so I really enjoy it. But whatever works best for you, if you don't have a mat, don't worry about it. Just make sure you have a hard, solid surface underneath you. Clearly, I got a little too excited here because I started touching it and it was way too hot. I burnt myself. So learn from my mistakes, please. Note to self, wait till it cools down until you pull off the transfer sheet. Ouch. It was a little bit tricky to work with. I did end up melting the image a little bit. So to fix that, some glitter vinyl that I had and I did a little rose. My husband saw this later and he said it looked a little crazy like I just threw a bunch of things on there. So maybe not everyone's cup of tea, but I will tell you my four-year-old will love this. So that's all that matters. It's for her. That's a wrap on those three Valentine's Day gift ideas. Tomorrow, I'm going to be posting my uncensored adult version. So if you're interested in that kind of humor, the crude humor, adult talk, you know what I'm talking about. Stay tuned for tomorrow. Once it's up, I will link it right above here. 
Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. If you are interested in more Cricut content, be sure to check out this one here. And I have a whole Cricut playlist for you to check out with lots of Cricut projects, crafts, and even tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Happy crafting.